Hello and welcome to part two of this lesson about money management. This is lesson number two. If you miss number one, please go back on my YouTube and watch number one first. Otherwise, this one does not make sense. So here we go. Get ready for lesson number two. Let me introduce myself just a little bit before we get started. This is my beautiful family. I work at ICF Cambodia. I am the founder of ICF Cambodia. What do we do at ICF Cambodia? We are helping people in need. One of the projects that we are doing, we're having a scholarship program for a lot of students that don't have the money to finish their school. So we help them out and we give them additional um, schooling for that and we pay for it. We also do COVID relief. We passed out already 1.5 million meals in Siem Reap. We have study groups. Right now many children are out of school and we help them get through the basic lessons they need for school. We also have almost 300 families in our family care program where we take care of them uh, so they can go to get health care, the dentist, the kids can go to school, they have clean water, everything that they need. ICF also has um, a business which is the ICF Wake Park. This is the idea to generate money to support the church and the NGO. So this is for you to know this is where I work, this is what I do. In this course, I will not sell you anything. This is not about selling, this is just for your lesson for you to learn. I will not take any money from this class, absolutely free. And I don't promote any products. I will show you some tools, but I make no money with no products. This is strictly for you to learn. I have a commitment that I want to ask for you. This is the second course and I want you to join the next three times. This plus the next two. You can also do this on Telegram, Wednesday 7 p.m. on my Money Boss group. Let's look back. On the first course class, we talked about the bank system. If you don't understand that yet, go back, watch the first video and also set financial goals. We talked about, about why smart people are rich. With rich, I don't mean they have a lot of money, but they, are, they manage their money well. Let's say this guy, he has a little money and he has a dream to build a house. But he says, no, not yet. I will put my money, money to the bank and I will wait and I will continue to work until my money in the bank grows because the, many, mo the money in the bank gets interest. And then when the time is right, I'm going to collect all that money and then my dream can come true. I am 65 years old. I am done working. I have land. I have a house. I am not depending on my children to give me money to live. I gave you homework last time and my question is, did you do it? Did you set your saving target? Did you do it? Yes or no? This is a very simple question. I hope you did it. The second question was, did you open a bank account for also for saving? Did you do it? I hope you did. For this lesson, again, I need you to take a pen and paper to write down notes or you will miss a lot of important information. Today, we're going to talk about how to make a budget. Uh, did you ever feel like uh, you look in your wallet and you say, where did my money go? Where did it go? You can't remember where you spent it. Well, that's exactly why you need a budget. A budget is a financial plan. How to get from here to there. Let me explain this with this map. You are right now right here and you want to go to the Psalle, which is right over here. But how do you get there? And um, a budget means you make a clear plan. This will help you know exactly which way to go, how long it will take and how far. This is 
what a budget is it will help you get from where you are now to where you want to go you want to go it's about you deciding where you want to go and I learned budgeting from my mom these are my parents my mom died a year ago this is what I learned from my mom she had this red box always in the kitchen with her and with this red box she explained to me how she did the budgeting in this box you have different eight different little boxes and in each box in here she put money for insurance in here for food in here for gasoline in here for the rent and on the other side even more for um, the doctor for savings so she put all of this stuff inside this box and budgeting means she taught me hey you want to buy some clothes oh let's look at the clothes buying budget and she opened it if there was nothing inside she said Andy there is no money we cannot buy any clothes for you you need to wait another month because we don't have the money um, or she said you need to have new socks but I'm going to take it out of the food budget so she took the money out of the food budget and she says family we will not eat for two meals because we need some dollars to buy socks because all you have is the money in here this is the budget and each of these categories they are actually the budget for each thing this one is from 1974 this is uh, uh, um, the old school before we had the app so on every day of the month this is every day she writes down in each category how much she, she spent where and then for each month so this is one month of spendings and she writes in here oh I bought a coffee for one dollar and sixty six cents everything is recorded here and at the end of the month in here you see all the numbers how much exactly was spent and she calculated each row and she knows exactly how much money did I spend for food how much for clothes how much for coffee how much for gasoline which day she bought it she tracks everything and this is how she taught me the budgeting out in 50 years ago this is almost 50 years old and this is amazing so this red box taught me how to make a budget and never overspend the money that you have to reach your goal you need consistency and perseverance consistency and perseverance these are the two things that you need to invest in order to reach your goal. Be consistent in your money tracking and money saving. You will not get there. You need to be persistent. This is the key. Are you willing to pay the price? This is the question. If you're not willing to pay the price you can turn off this video you will never manage your money well if you're not willing to pay the price because there is a price you need to be willing to pay the price in order to reach your goal if it is hard in the beginning it will be easy in the end this is what we talked about last time and I want to encourage you to understand this more clearly if it's hard in the beginning it will be easy in the end in the beginning you need to learn you need to study you need to discipline yourself in order at the end to have a nice house and the freedom to choose but to get there you need to work if you don't work 
and I'm talking about hard work. If you don't do the hard work, you will not reach your goal. Because if it is easy in the beginning, it will be hard in the end. I explain why. You want the house now, the motorbike, the Durosup. Uh, you want all of that, you don't have money, you go to the bank, the bank says, of course, I will give you money, I'm happy to give you money, but then you will be the slave and you will think about money all the time and living inside your beautiful house will not feel so good anymore because all you think about is how do I give the money back to the bank because you have to. You thought it was easy in the beginning and then it's hard in the the end. You have a choice to make. Do you want to have freedom, financial freedom to choose in the end or do you want to be a slave? You're going to be this or you're going to be this. You choose. It's up to you. If it's hard in the beginning, it will be easy in the end. This is really my most important lesson in life. If you don't go this way, if you do it in another order, you're going to mess up because only this way will give you the freedom and the power to manage your man money if you have a lot at the end. So let's talk about budgeting. Where did my money go? Money is like water. It will go wherever it wants. You can't hold it. But a budget is telling the water where to go. That's the difference. I'm going to talk to you about 50, 30 and 20 percent budgeting. This is to give you an idea of why this is so important. 50 percent of the money that you have, you need to spend on essentials. This is food. This is going to work, insurance, paying your electrical bill, the things that you need to live and 30 percent on what you want, closing, entertainment, going out, eating, traveling, uh, whatever you want. You don't need, but you want it. And then 20%, this is very important, you need to invest in savings. Or if you don't have savings yet, you need to kill your debt. You need to pay it off first to get free. Because it's gonna, going to affect your future uh, contribution and also you need to have uh, an emergency fund tell your money where to go again I'm gonna explain it in this way let's look at the 50% that you want to spend on the things that you need what are the things that you need you need to live somewhere you need food you need to go to work you need electricity and you need to pay your health insurance this is the things that you want. Yeah, you want to play guitar, you want a new phone, you want some clothes, you want an internet, you want to go to the party, you want to study, you want to do sports. This is not necessary, but it is what you would like. This is important. If you can invest 20%, you are very smart because here you invest in your future and you need to pay off all your debt. I did a survey and I asked, do you ha know how to make a spending budget? Yes, 71% said no. We're going to look at how you're going to do it. Also, the money tracking app. Do you have a money tracking app? And again, 48% said no, they don't. And that's why many people have a problem because you don't have a an app that will track the money or a paper that you track the money and it's like water you lose it you don't know where it went and that's why it's so important let me make an example of a budget okay here we have a budget and I want to explain to you how you use it the first part here is all your income let's say you have $350 salary each month is there any other money that comes in you can write it in this first section then the second one is about your house. Here you have to put in your rent. Maybe you have also a little bit of renovation and maintenance to fix up a new light bulb. You have $15 because you have an air con, you use a refrigerator, you need some money for gas, for cooking. You want to have $2 for uh, internet, mobile phone. You also spend some money on. So everything goes right in here and it gives you 
a number that you spend at home. Then the loans that you need to pay back, maybe you have a loan and you need to pay $30 each month. Put it in here so you know exactly where it goes. This one is for food and drinks. How much do you use each month? Think about that and put the number in here. Maybe 60, maybe $80, it's really up to you. Then how about personal and medical? How much money do you spend on toiletries? You wanna go cut your hair? Um, you want need to buy some medicine sometimes you want to go to the dentist it's about time do that you want to spend a little bit on clothes on jewelry maybe not you want to go to the gym four times this month maybe you have also some books that you need to buy for your school for your education you put everything in here the next one is where most people lose a lot of money because they think oh I want to go to the coffee shop, um, you know, four times a week, four times one dollar is four dollars. So at the end of the month, I spend twelve dollars just on coffee and tea, music, holidays. I want to go to the birthday party. I want to also bring a gift over there. Uh, look at that. Uh, this is all your spending. You think about in one month, how much gasoline do you need? You go to the market and you give one thousand real. It adds up, it adds up. You need to do your old oil, oil change on your moto. So you have everything in here. And then you also have a baby. It also needs some products that you want to buy for the baby. So you have all these things. This whole sheet you will have uh, in the link below. So you can go through it very slowly and think of each one of these. And then on the very bottom here, you have your income is 350. Uh, your expenses right now, according to what you put in top, is $282. What you did not, so you have left, is 80, $68. And you say yes, because this is very important, because I want to save uh, $38. I want to do in the short term. I want to put $15 in my long term and I want to give $15 away. You can also change this and say, yes, uh, I want to give my first fruits in here, $35. And then you see down here how it changes for you, minus 20. So you have to say, okay, in my savings, I can only do a lot less. I can only do, let's put in here 20. And then I have $2 left and I do my long-term savings only $13. So I need to end up exactly at zero down here. If you scroll down, you see here it automatically fills in how much you are saving and how much are your expenses. And I recommend the 80% expenses and the 20% savings. This is the sheet that I will give you, you can download and you can play with this and make your own budget according to your family, your income and your needs. This is the first thing I need you to do before you open the app that I will show you a little bit later. There are a lot of apps that you can choose from to manage your money. And I want to show you one that is absolutely free. I chose this one. It's simple. It's free. It does everything that you need and you don't need to invest any money right now in this app. Of course, there is a paid version that has some upgrades, but you don't need that for the first few months. This one you can download for free. Absolutely no cost. If you open it, the first thing that you need to do, you need to go to accounts and click it. In here, you will summarize all the money that you have. First, how much cash do you have? With the three dots, you can edit this and you can say how much is in your pocket. Let's say you have 23 and 50 cents in your pocket. Let me change this to pocket because this is how much you have right now in your house, in your pants, in your purse, in your bag. This is the amount of money you have. So you save that. 
Then the second one, card, you change to bank where your salary comes in. You can name it however you want and you say, okay, this is the money in my bank. I have right now on my bank account, maybe you need to go and check because you need to have this exactly. So you say maybe 233 and 25 cents is in my bank account. And then maybe you have a savings account, you go and check and you see, okay, you have 326 dollars in your savings account and then you press save now you have an overview of exactly the top right corner income so far this is how much money you have right now in your pocket in your bank in your savings account totally 582 cents and no 582 dollars and 75 cents the second thing that we will do is we go to budget and we set up a budget. And this budget has to do with the budget that you already prepared separately, the one that we looked at. And I'm going to show you how you can enter now your budget. So the first part was your home, everything connected to your home. So I'm going to select home and I'm going to say this um, was $88 that I use for my rent, for renovations, for electricity, for gas, for internet, my phone, everything at home that I put in my budget. I put in here the $88. Now I see already I have $88 is my limit. This is my budget. I cannot go over $88. And now I go to the next category, the loans and debt that I need to pay. And as you can see in my list, there is not really something like that. So I will just take bills. So I will say bills is my loan and paying off debt. So I, out of my budget, I need to pay $30 each month of my loan. So I set it and again, it comes up here. And as you can see on the bottom, you have categories. This is very important because here you click on it and then you see all the categories and here you can rename them. For example, we go on home and when we go to the three dots over here, we can edit this. Remember home, maybe I make it more specific and say also it's rent. It's also for EDC, for example, I want to have that also in here, everything connected and also the gas for cooking, everything I can put in here and say this is my home and then it automatically comes in here. If I go back to budget, I then see it's added in here. I see it home, rent, EDC, gas, cooking. Anytime I want to change that, I go to categories and I change it. I also want to change bills because bills is actually my loans. So loans, uh, payback, for example, payback. I can call it that. Um, yes, maybe I want to choose a different icon because I want to cut that. <laughs> but I leave it to this one for the moment. If I go back to budget, I see loans payback. And then I go to the next one, which is food. Let's see. Yes, we have one called food. And for food, I put in $50 in my budget. Yours might be more or less. I set it, boom, it comes up here in my budget. And then I have for personal and medical stuff and hobbies and cosmetics and all of that. I'm just going to use beauty 
and I'm gonna say yes the $48 from my budget go in here but I want to go to categories again and I want to change beauty to um, not only beauty but actually um, medicine maybe medical I can use and clothes and so on what else do I have in here medical closing and let's say in general hair and beauty everything like that yes so go in there I save it keep that logo go back to my budget and I see medical closing hair it's all in here and I have my limit of 48 dollars and then the next one is the entertainment which is the Holidays, the coffee, all of that. And from my budget, I have the $32 I put in here. And then I here I can always change the limit, but I go again on category to describe it better because entertainment is maybe not what I want, but for me, it's better if I write coffee. I also, you can also use uh, an emoji if you want to have more in there and then holidays um that's and then of course weddings because that's also very important let's use this one for wedding and i want to change this icon because this is things i love <laughs> could be healthcare but i say no this is important i'm going to choose this you can change this anytime under categories if you go back to budget you will see this icon with holidays and then the last one or not the last one, but we have one for transportation. I'm going to use the car one here. And for my motorbike and for gasoline, actually, I put in my budget $11. Again, I want to change it to become not a car, but I'm going to change it and say this is moto, everything connected with the moto, which is also gas um, and repairs everything that has to do with my transportation go back to the budget i see it it's done it's ready i see 11 dollars i have for the month and then the the one more i have is for children i'm just gonna leave baby because i pretend now i have a baby five dollars i put it in here and then the last one is uh, saving i don't savings i don't put in here because uh, actually I do put it in here so I have the clear amount yes so I use savings I for example I take this insurance one and I say my savings is $86 this is my goal for all my saving plans and this one I go back to categories and I change it here and say this is not insurance this is savings and I'm gonna capitals and I'm gonna choose the let's say why not the money back so if I look now at my budget I see all my main points are in here and up here total budget 350 spent zero so total spent zero, the red number, and left top total budget 350. This is exactly my salary. So what do I do now? Now I have the budget. I have with accounts, I have all the money I have. And then I can do records on the very left side. I can see my expenses, my income, my balance. So I have the money already in, no new salary came in. So let's say I go to the coffee shop. I hit this bottom right hand corner plus button and I say, I'm gonna buy a coffee. How am I gonna pay with the ABA app or with my pocket? I choose the pocket. And I'm gonna say, for what do I spend the money? Now this one, I spent for entertainment because entertainment is where I said down here remember the coffee so I click on that I say yes this is my coffee 125 
and then on the top right corner I click the button the little check mark up here boom and now I spent this coffee in here and then I see my expenses 124 and my balance is minus 124 because I have no salary yet income this is the money I have but if I I put my salary now then you will understand how it works so this is everything I have and the salary I can add in the same way I go not to expenses but to income on the top expenses income I go to income and I say yes I have income into my bank because my my employee pays into my bank and I get my three hundred and fifty dollars and actually I didn't get it today and on the very top I can choose when did I get my salary let's say I got my salary um, on the 5th of August after this month it came to my bank account I click it and I can say what it is I can say it's my salary it can also be a gift or income from rental or something I sold there is many things and you can still add down here more categories on what your income is but this came from the salary 350 again on the top I hit OK and now I have of course a lot more in my bank I already have now a lot more in my bank 500 and $83 because I got 300 more as you can see up here in the middle on top $350 I have in there I spent one coffee and my balance is still 384 so this continues the more I add the plus on the bottom I say okay I have to pay my rent my rent I pay with the ABA app because that's my bank and I say okay this is for my home my rent and my rent is what did I put in here in my budget my rent is $60 and I hit on the top okay my rent goes in here so I see today I paid the rent I bought the coffee and my balance on the top right hand corner goes down I continue to do this and then I see a very clear overview of how my where my money goes how do I spend it and then if I click on budget I see that for my home I from the $88 the rent is the biggest part I still have $28 left and I also see in here I bought one coffee I still have $30 left so I spent 2.04 percent on coffee if I go out with friends I can um, I can open this button here on the bottom on any page and say okay I invited my friends and I paid $12.25 for dinner and this one was I will say okay it's actually like food put it in here press the button and then I see that I spent now 15 uh, $12.25 on food so I have exactly I know exactly how much I have left for this month and so you will be able to see exactly how much you spent how much you have left in each category so you don't overspend your budget if you do you need to change the limit if you change the limit then you need to change somewhere else down now this you do for each month so what happens if you look at your account and you see oh I only have ten dollars left in my pocket I need to go to the ABA bank and I need to take some money out very easy so the third one if I go to the plus button down here there is transfer 
So we had income, expenses, and now transfer. So I say from my bank, because I am at the ATM right now, and I take out cash, and I put it in my pocket. So I take out 25, or oh, 25, not 250, just 25. And then I hit up here and I check, I take out $25. And now when you go to the account, I have again the 25 added here and the bank has less. So this is very important that every time money leaves your um, one of these three pockets, bank or savings, you need to track it. Every time you spend money, you need to track it in here. You need to say exactly, and then you can see where did it come from, what was it, and you can see exactly what it is. And then you can go also to analyze. This is, this is interesting after a week or a month. And then you can see how much money you spend on what. Um, right now I only have three here, but you will see how much you spent on coffee, on food, on whatever it is. And the more detailed you want to know this information, the more budget you can make. Now I'm going to scroll all the way up here, as you can see, August up here. If I go to the next month, September, it is empty on the top. Budgeting category for September, it's empty. So what can I do here for the next month? This is very cool. I can just say, yes, I set a new budget for the baby, or I can say, I am going to add on the bottom, set from past month, which means August. And then I see exactly how much I spent for home rent EDC, how much loan payback, I see if I overspent or not. And I can just say, yes, copy all. And for September, you see it on top, it's all fresh, a new month, a new target. And you say, okay, I actually will change my gas because I actually will spend a little bit less. I'm gonna take here, $2 down, set it again. And on the top, you see, I have now two dollars that I can say where I want to go, where I need to go, because on top total budget is because my salary is still three hundred and fifty. So where do I want it, that money to go? And then I can go all the way down to saving and say I want to add these two dollars into savings. So sixty eighty six was it last time? I'm gonna go to eighty eight. And now you see on the top. My budget is now 350. This always needs to be 350. It always needs to be exactly what you get. What comes in needs to be your budget because you need to say where it goes. I hope this app will help you and will encourage you to start tracking everything. And you can, of course, do more details down here. If you want to sell for education, for closing, you can all separate it and work on your budget. If you don't need something, for example, you don't need um, shopping, you can just go to categories again. And here you have all the things that are in your list. And you just go here and say, yes, I want to delete this one. Delete. I want to delete the social one. Delete. I, I, uh, I am not going on it right. And so you clean everything up so that you have in your budget only the things that you need. And actually down here, it should be empty unless you want something new, but only here. But when you're done, clear all this down here. Keep your lives free of the love of money and be satisfied with what you have. God says, I will never leave you, I will never abandon you, but money will, money will. So don't fall in love with money, be satisfied with what you have. And here, 
the key is that you learn how to manage it well you need to learn how to manage your money well what you have don't think about what you don't have but what you have you can download this free Bible app from the App Store it will talk a lot about money and it will help you in your life not only in the area of money I'm gonna give you homework I want you to download the app that I showed you you can also do another one if you want uh, and make a budget here I want to add yes if you have um, an iPhone there is another app it's called money lover which is actually a stupid name but money lover app you can download for the iPhone people you can download this one everybody else can download the one that I showed you here so download the app and make a budget I need you to do this and I have something else for you if you make a budget and follow it so the big thing is and make a budget and follow it you will control your money and you will become a money boss this is a guarantee the money boss is not necessarily rich he is the boss of his money I want to also invite you to a budgeting challenge which means if you want to be seriously about budgeting and tracking your money you can join this group I link also in this uh, underneath in this YouTube video the group is open for people that are serious about learning how to budget if you misuse it I will kick you out only share your budget screenshot and we're gonna do this every week to be able to help each other stay motivated and tracking your money and doing the budgeting so this is a group specially uh, for you on telegram that you can join if you want to join this challenge so still to come in the course control your spending make a smart money saving plan understand the debt trap this is what we're going to talk about and then in the last session kill all your money problems I want to end with this verse from the Bible you may love money but you will never have enough money you may like to have valuable things but you will always want more of them and this is silly this is absolutely silly if you have if you think you don't have enough money you want more and you get more you still want more then you want more again you want more again you want more again look at all the people that have money they still want more money they don't give away because they manage well you can be a money boss so this is again the Bible app download it learn from it every day what I ask of you the next two weeks please join on Wednesday on telegram 25th and the 1st of September and we will continue to learn about money management thank you for watching uh, like this video and like also yes subscribe to this channel so you will be updated what's coming up here on my YouTube channel thank you and Bo.